A lot of people have asked for some electric ukulele plans, and I've finally written some. I designed this ukulele to be as easy as possible to build while still having a really cool solid body electric ukulele. Not having an angled head suck makes the neck a lot easier to build. Not having to route out the pickup cavity or the neck pocket also makes it a lot easier. My body is a simple rectangle, but the plans can be modified to make any body shape. To make the design a little bit less complex, I opted to not have an onboard volume control, so you can just control the volume on the amp. I documented the process, so between this video and the plan, you should be able to make a pretty cool little instrument. Here are the parts that you'll need to make this ukulele. This is some quarter inch thick wood. You'll need some that's either two or three inches wide. This will be for the fretboard. This piece of wood is three quarters of an inch thick and three inches wide. That's going to be for the neck. And then we have this piece of wood. It is five inches wide and also three quarters of an inch thick. Two of these sandwiched together will form the body. We'll need a four string bridge. We'll need four tuners. We'll need a nut. You can either buy them pre-made or you can make your own. We'll need a single coil pickup. And then some kind of mounting ring to mount this to the body. We'll need a combination strap peg jack for the back. We'll need four string ferrules for the back of the body. We'll need an extra strap peg. We'll also need fret wire. We'll also need some screws to mount the neck to the body. Along with the screws you'll either need some washers, some of these finish washers, or some purpose-built neck mounting ferrules. We're going to make the fretboard by taking the template and taping it to the top of the fretboard. I have an 8.5 by 11 template and I also have one for A4 paper. Put on the paper and we'll cut it out with some kind of a fret saw. I've taped the fret template to the wood. Now I'll just take the saw in their miter box and cut in all the fret slots. Now that the frets are slotted, I can trim along the outside edge of the fretboard. I do this after I cut the slots so that the board is still straight and true when I cut out the different slots. Now that I've trimmed off the sides, I can peel off the fret template and it'll be ready for frets. Take my mallet, take the fret wire, pound it into the slot, Trim off the ends and it's ready to go. Later on I'll file the sides down so they're more comfortable. I'm going to drill a couple holes up by the 12th fret and then I'll use the side dot material to mark where that is at. With the holes drilled, I can take a dab of glue on the end of the side dot material, press it into the hole, trim off the excess. Using the template, I traced out the neck and now I'm going to cut it out with the scroll saw. Now comes the part where I make it more comfortable to hold. I'll use a spoke shave and a couple of rasps to do that. I'll also round off this part right here with a round rasp, but you could also use something like a half round file to do that.
Once I'm done with that, I'll probably use a bit of a belt sander to also make it nice and comfortable to hold. Keeping in mind that later on I'll have an extra quarter of an inch for the fretboard. I've now carved the neck. I put that little dip in there. So now the neck is just about done. I still have to drill the holes for the tuners and then eventually also drill the holes for the mounting screws. The body will be made by sandwiching two pieces of wood together. We'll cut out the hole for the pickup as well as the neck pocket using the template. Although you may have to adjust the size of the hole depending on the style of pickup that you're going to use. The top of the board is now cut out. By doing this and sandwiching the wood together, we don't have to use a router. I'm now going to drill holes in the side of the headstock for the four tuners. Tuners will vary a little bit in size, so you'll have to find the right place to drill them for your particular neck and tuners. Now we can glue the two sides together. Now the body is glued and clamped. Now that the body has been glued together, I can take some sandpaper and round off the edges a little bit. I might even round off the corners just a little bit. Now that I've knocked off some of the rough edges, I'm going to take a large drill bit and drill a hole back here for the end pin jack. After that, I'm going to take this longer a smaller drill bit and drill a hole all the way from the back to the pickup cavity. Now I'm going to drill a couple holes in the back of the body for the neck. I'll use a little bit bigger holes for the part going through the body and ones that fit the screw for the part that's going into the neck. We're now going to mark where the bridge is going to go. We want the saddles to be 17 inches away from the nut. Once you have the bridge in the correct location, you can mark it and drill holes for the screws. Now that I've marked where the bridge will go, I can drill holes for the strap peg and also for the mounting ring. I've taken the saddle off the bridge and now I'm going to drill all the way through the body to make holes for the strings. I've now drilled holes all the way through the body. Now I'm going to countersink a couple holes for the string ferrules. I'm also going to drill one more hole that will be hidden underneath the bridge to ground the bridge. Now that all the holes have been drilled in the body, and I've given it a good sand, it's now ready for a true oil finish. I've glued the fretboard onto the neck, and I'm also going to glue a little shim under the nut. If I were building my own nut, I could make it just the right size that I want it to be, but in this case, I'm making it easy and using a pre-made nut. The body and neck now have finish on it, so now it's time for assembly. First, I'm going to put the neck on, the tuners, then I'll put the bridge, and then finally I'll put the pickup on, and then solder it to the jack. The tuners the neck are now on, and I've fed a wire through to ground the bridge. The bridge is now secure, and we have a little ground wire coming out the end. It's now time for the pickup. For the pickup, I'm going to feed the wire down the hole. Then I'll secure the mounting ring in place. I'm now ready to solder the ground wires and the signal wire to my end pin jack. After I soldered the wires, I tested to make sure it works and everything works good, so it's ready to be sealed up. Now that all the parts are on, it's ready for strings. Well, it's all done. Let's see how it sounds. If you do build your own, I'd love to see it. Send me a video or pictures of it.